Hey guys, welcome to Allie's Artistry. Today we will be making one of my favorite things, chocolate chip cookies. Now this is the best recipe I have ever tasted. It is so yummy and super simple. So for the trays, you need to grease them with like cooking spray. You don't need to use parchment paper because they'll slide off. But the one thing that I didn't have was cooking spray. So I decided to use some vegetable oil and then just spread it with a paper towel and that worked perfectly fine. So I just preheated the oven to 375 and now we're gonna start baking. So the first thing we need to do is grab all of the wet ingredients and I will be doubling the recipe so I can give some to family and friends. So first we're gonna need shortening and we need three fourths cup of, I use Crisco vegetable shortening. The next thing for the wet ingredients is one and one fourth cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. And I have tried it with the dark brown sugar, but you can, um, they call for light brown sugar. I just think it tastes better. Then next, you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And yeah, I'm just using vanilla extract. Two tablespoons of um, milk and I'm using almond milk and it doesn't change the flavor so if you have almond milk if you have 2% milk it really doesn't matter one egg but as you can see I'm using two and that is it for the wet ingredients now you're gonna get your stand mixer and combine all of them let's get started so I just got my stand mixer and I'm using a KitchenAid with the paddle attachment as you can see, and I got this scrapier one, so it just, um, you won't have to go in between mixes and scrape it down. So the first thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna put the Crisco, and we're just gonna dump in all that Crisco. Guys, this piggy spatula is so adorable that it's, I've had it for a long time. This is my favorite spatula. It is tiny and the eyes have worn off, but it is so adorable and it even has a tail. I will put the links down below to the spatula if you all wanna get it, cause it is so cute. Anyway, let's get back to baking. We are gonna add the all of the light brown sugar. Just dump that in there and you can use your spatula to get it out. There you go. Next thing, we're gonna add um, the vanilla extract. And yeah, don't beat it before you add these. And my milk. Just dump it right in there. And then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna start it at a really low um, speed so it doesn't go everywhere. And then you're gonna really whip, makes a really creamy looking mixture and make sure to lock it so then it doesn't fly out. And this happened. Of course it did. I don't, I, that's never happened to me, but that came off. Oh, that's cool, there's a little square in there. I'll tighten this. Okay. Okay, we're back after that technical difficulty. And as I was saying, lock it and Stir it at a low speed, and then you're gonna really feed it until it makes a creamy mixture. So I say like, give it like 30 seconds. That should be good. And now we're gonna beat in the eggs. And I do this so one part doesn't just have the egg whites and then the other part doesn't just have the egg yolk. So then you get a good mixture. Then we'll just dump this in there and then a mix. And that's why you don't put it on high speed, because I just splattered egg everywhere. Mix that very nicely. And you wanna make sure that it's fully combined so that one part doesn't just have egg in it, because then it would kind of make like a scrambled egg inside your cookie. And I don't think that would taste good, but y'all could try it if you wanted to. I'm not gonna judge you. Okay, there you go, it is beaten, and now we're gonna move on to our dry ingredients. Now for our dry ingredients. So you're gonna need two cups of flour, but I'm using four. And I called in my parents and I was like, look how much flour is in this bowl. Cause it like, you could make it snow in your backyard with all this flour. 
And then you're gonna need three fourths teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt. Now you just can combine that until everything's mixed together. So I'm just gonna add the salt, baking soda, and give it a nice mix. And you're gonna wanna make sure that um, all of it's combined. That's good and mixed. Okay, I just wanna thank everyone that has subscribed to this channel. I am blown away and I am so thankful. And I hope y'all just keep watching these videos. And I really enjoy making them and I hope y'all enjoy watching them. I will leave the recipe down below and it's inspiration. Let's get on to make the dough. So you're gonna unlock your KitchenAid and you're gonna add like, I would say like one fourth or you could add less. I wouldn't say add any more or it might explode everywhere. Now you're just gonna give this Make sure to lock it, and I'm gonna like pulse it kind of before so it doesn't fly as much. Then you're just gonna do that, and then you can add it while it's going, or you can stop every so often and just put another fourth in there. And that should be good now. You're gonna scrape down the sides to make sure you got every little part. Give it one more mix. And you should be ready to go. So then you're gonna just take it out of the container. And then use your hands to slide it out of the little things. And make sure to wash your hands before this or it might not taste that good. Now it is time for my favorite part. Time to add the chocolate. And it couldn't be a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate. So I always say add more and not less. So it calls for one cup and you can always add more. I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate. And me and my dad once, this is a fun story, um, we tried to time ourselves to make this cookie dough as fast as possible. And we did it in like five minutes. It was awesome. And like we did like a speed round and it was just crazy. And things were flying everywhere. It was a great time. So I'm gonna fold this in instead of beat it in because then it will become like just a chocolate cookie because everything will get crushed together. So I'm just gonna fold it in as much as possible. And if one chocolate chip cookie has more chocolate chips, I mean, I wouldn't mind having more chocolate chips in one cookie. There we go. And this is time to pull out your muscles and really get in there. Okay, there we go. There is our yummy chocolate chip cookie recipe. And always try some before because you need to taste if it tastes good. So good, this is so awesome. Now it is time to scoop them and I just use a ice cream scooper. It's really simple and I just grab some and then it kind of has to like be flattened enough and you just scrape them off so then you get like an even cookie. And then you take it, you can roll it and then you place it down on your greased cookie thing. And then you do this to the rest of your cookies. Now, just put them in the oven and wait. This is my finished product. I think they turned out really well, and I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. And if y'all did, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bells to get notified when I make a new video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye!